Uh, what went wrong for you guys? Defensively, we were horrible, absolutely horrible. And uh, if we continue to play defence like that, if we were seven and three. It's going to turn around pretty quick. And uh, until our guys actually show some total commitment to playing defence, that's what's going to happen. It's, um, it's not really like your guys to, no. to be like that. Was, was there something different today? Or? The whole week was, was, was a good week. Uh, there, there was no need to try and pump the guys up because they were so focused on, on, on wanting to redeem themselves, if you want to call it that. And it was a good week. And uh, it, it was disappointing that we broke down in so many different areas. Um, Adelaide seemed to get on top of you a bit in the last, or the last couple of years. I think it's five out of the last seven now. Is there something about them? Or is it... No idea. No idea. Yeah, I mean, I think... So, sometimes teams are so focused on beating us. You know, they, they, they come in the jungle, it's an incredible environment, and, and, and everybody raises themselves to play against us here at home. You know, so that, that could definitely contribute to it. Because uh, these other games when these teams you know, they, they're outstanding against us, I mean, don't, don't, I'm not taking away from Adelaide, they were very disciplined tonight, they were very focused, and they executed and followed their game plan. We didn't. So, which loss is more disappointing, the first one to Adelaide or this one? All losses. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it's, I, t tonight I was disappointed because we just didn't follow our game plan again. And, and that, that's what's been happening. Teams have come out, physical, gone the biffo and things like that, and that's unsettled. Tonight we handled that. I thought we were pretty good physically. And that there was no, that, that didn't rattle our cage at all. But. I said it was very disappointing that uh, the guys were unable to, to follow the, the, the game plan. You were saying the other day that you were thinking about going big with Maddie and, and Luke, um, but you started with the three guards out there today. What was the thinking behind that? Uh, just uh, Brad, Brad's just an incredible defensive player. I felt that you know when Damo pretty much decided this morning that he was playing, that uh, I wanted to throw him in in warm-ups and he was warm. So that's why I made that decision. And uh, I mean, Robbo's been a tremendous leader for us. So that's why I went the three guards, and, and Robbo can defend, you know, six, seven players like Stevie Way. Robbo, Matt, you to miss the uh, presence of Cam Toby tonight. You've said before he's one of the most all-round players in the club. How much do you miss him? Oh, massive, and I mean, he creates so much uh, other areas. And uh, w whenever those injuries occur, it's it's almost like a band-aid. You have to make some changes, and and uh, you, you know, obviously he didn't work too well for us tonight. But uh, you know, I think now that uh, I mean, Toby should be back next week. Uh, touch wood, and uh, we'll have our complete team, and hopefully uh, we can get this out of the way. We'll uh, do a big evaluation. Uh, these guys have to do their own evaluation because you, know, you get sick of it as a coach, week in, week out, just constantly saying, "Okay, this this was wrong, that was wrong." It's the same thing. I mean, these guys have got to start being a lot more responsible. Expecting a bit particularly more scathing of their performance than they've been in the past. Yeah, because. The reason I'm, I'm, I'm having a crack at our, our boys now is because they're a good team and they could be special. They could be a great team. They could be a legitimate championship team. But until they start actually believing in, in that themselves and start to get a little bit of a swagger in their step and a belief, we, we can't win a championship. Simple as that. How did you rate Damo's performance coming back? A bit rusty. Yeah, a bit rusty. I mean, he got beat a little bit off the dribble. At the same time, Warren is super quick. You know, he's probably the quickest guard in the league there. But uh, I think it was fantastic. You know, there's no way that I would have thought I would have played him 27 minutes. But you know, it, that's going to be great for him to get back to his fitness a lot, a lot quicker. What about Benny Percy? You managed to give him some minutes yeah. as well. Yeah. No, I thought that uh, defensively he can flat out play in this league, and I think he showed that tonight. Uh, and uh, I mean, he needs to work on his offense. Uh, but, but right now, I thought he was tremendous. Andy, um, how, did, how did you find that out there tonight? Um, yeah, we just, as Bevo said, our defence, we just gave up way too many layups, dunks. We allowed Diamond to score at will. Um, our coaches put a lot of time and effort into scouting, and we didn't follow that tonight. We allowed Diamond to post up. Uh, our defence wasn't what we talked about all week. But, there's times out there where we look good, and then there's times where we just look horrible. So we need to be able to play consistently for 40 minutes. What about, how do you sort of go about it as players trying to fix that for, for next week? And uh, well, we'll meet on probably Monday or Tuesday, the players, and we'll evaluate ourselves, how we went. We each wrote a game goal, and I reckon this week we'll be tough on ourselves. And then we just got to get back to training, and 
we know we can play the defense. We've done it in games. We work hard tra uh, practice. So it'll be tough where you practice, but we know we can bounce back, and we've got to bounce back. What's it like in those meetings? Is it pretty open and honest, and guys not not really afraid to? Oh, definitely. If you can't handle it, then you shouldn't be on this team. Like We're trying to get better each week, and we're going to be brutally honest with each other, so each person improves each week. Matty, we've touched on before, um, Wollongong next Sunday. You've played them twice already this season, and most recently on their home court, you beat MC Musco in there with a little bit of confidence. Yeah, well, we got a win down there last time, but um, they challenged Townsville up in Townsville last night, and they're tough at home, so they're going to be ready for us. We've beaten them twice this year, so... They're going to be prepared for us and we need to be prepared for them. Rob, just quickly, when did you guys sort of get an idea that Damien Martin would be potentially available to play this game? Um, yesterday, well, I, I guess backtracking Thursday, we pretty much made the decision that he was out, that uh, you know, he, his foot was too sore. and um, But what he had Friday off and then he came to practice on Saturday and said, no, no, I want to train, it feels terrific, feels good. Uh, medical staff said there's nothing wrong with his toe anymore. It's just that that that, that pain that he can handle, and uh, he got through it. And then we said to him, "Okay, let's see how you pull up today." Uh, walks into uh, practice this morning and said, "No, nah, well, I'm good to go. I want to play." So, if there's any positive to come out of today, it would be that you've got him back a month earlier than yeah. expected. Oh, there's no doubt about that. I mean, we we were aiming for the 23rd of December, and. Uh, you know, it's been remarkable the way he can get back and said for him to play 27th tonight, I think, is a real positive for us. Uh, Bebo, just on the uh, three-point shooting, I think you only had six in the, in the first half, or six yeah. attempts. Um, does that part of the game plan? Oh, I, I mean, we, we have a philosophy if, you, if you're open to shoot that, and uh, you know, they play us a lot tighter. You know, so we, we don't want to force too many, many uh, contested shots, so that's probably why that was down. And they did a tremendous job defending the three, and they got after Kev, and, uh, we spoke about half time. He only had five shots uh, by half time, and uh, it's the responsibility of these big guys here to screen, to get him open, and Kev's got to get himself open as well.